Welcome back to another episode of Revamped Outdoors, the YouTube channel that has dirty clothes and horrible continuity. What we want to do, that's right, we've got another video with horrible continuity because the drivers on my computer can't uh, distinguish my condenser microphone anymore. So here we are. Anyway, we're going to jump into doing a template for a lithophane box that I have posted a video on a long time ago. That video is starting to gain a lot of traction. And people are asking how I edit a boundary for the lithophane so it actually fits into a box. So we can design the lithophane before we put it into a program to make the edge very thin so it can slide into a frame or a box or something, make it a little more useful than just printing a lithophane out of you know PLA and putting it in your windowsill even though that's cool sometimes you want to have something that's actually in a nice display case so um, we'll jump into that now so I've loaded in a picture into GIMP uh, all you do is just file open as layers this has come in and I'll into a layer this is a layer essentially editing photo program so you can put layer upon layer upon layer and then adjust it this photo is just from a recent video on the channel this is a project an aerator that I printed a 3d printed case for what we want to do uh, for the instance of a lithophane we wanted to put it into a box so when we print it we want to have like no lithophane on the corners right or on the edges and the side so we want to create a border for that so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to go, go up into my layer dialog box. If you don't have a layer dialog box there, you can always go to windows and check your dialogs. So you can come in here, dockable dialogs, layers. If that's not there, you hit that button, it'll show up. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to do a new layer. I'm going to keep everything the same. It's going to be the same width and the same height. This is in pixels. If you're curious about uh, how to modify it for 3D printing, you can also switch it to millimeters and it should convert for you after you save it as a PNG. It should keep that. But we're just gonna keep it in pixels for now. I guess we can move it to millimeters. So it's 192 square, essentially. Uh, you can name it if you'd like to. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna make this white. I'm not gonna make it transparent. I'm going to put that so now it loaded in my layer view here uh, in GIP you could see that it went above this other photo so that means the other photos below it so if I turn that layer off you can see it so think of it as it's starting to stack up what we're gonna do is just take the select tool so let's say we want to do 10 millimeter border on this picture we have it in here that means we want to be 20 millimeters smaller than that picture so each side of that will be 10 millimeters smaller when we do our selection so that means we want to be 20 millimeters smaller than 192 so I'm going to put in here 172 by 172 so now this box is 172 square and you can do this for a rectangular photo as well. You just have to take into account the little bit extra on either side. So now that we have it correctly sized, we need to fit it perfectly in the middle of this photo. So I'm going to go up to my alignment tool and I'm going to do align in the middle of the target and align in the center of the target. That's going to put my selection right in the middle. Now that I have that selection in the middle, so I'm going to go inside my box. I'm going to copy visible. That should keep uh, copied in the selection itself. I'm going to go outside of that a little bit, and I'm going to edit and paste as a layer. That'll bring it in as a new layer. So if we turn the very top layer that we have on, if we turn that off, we should see that we have just our selection instead. So we can turn that layer off, and now we have a white border at 10 millimeters aside around our photo. So if we want to make if we want to double check, we can go back to our alignment tool. We can s click on our selection, so that will be the layer that we have on top here. And then we can move it around that part, right? We can have it down to the bottom, over to the side. What we want to do is align to the center and the center. Then we can come up here, select none and we can see that we have a border of 10 millimeters around this photo. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export as a PNG. So after it's exported to PNG, then you can import it into your lithophane converter, whatever you choose. I use Simplify 3D because that's the slicer I normally use. So we'll jump into that and I'll show you that real quick. So this is Simplify 3D. I haven't updated because if it's not broke, don't fix it, but it's 4.0.1. But the newer versions have this as well. Uh, you can convert an image to 3D. So I'm just going to go in there. I know other slicers have this, Cura, and you can always uh, do other lithophane conversion softwares. But what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and find that file we had before. Okay, so once we've put in our file, we have to select what we want. It determines the depth range between color extremes, this kind of thing, desired width, platform height, that sort of thing. I'm going to just bring the depth down to like three millimeters works pretty well. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to let it import. So now we have a lithophane, but that white, it's going to show as just white, right? So it's going to create just a base border on it for us already. And that allows us to inset it into picture frames or that tiger lith, 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 the tiger lithophane box video that we've had before is similar to that. So uh, that's a way you can get a lithophane to lie flat so you can put it into a box or into a frame or something like that. Hope it helped you a little bit. I use GIMP and Simplify 3D, but you could use Photoshop in a similar layer editing program for photos. Or you can use any number of other lithophane generators too. You don't need Simplify 3D. Uh, every other slicer for the most part nowadays will do it for you so hopefully you got some from that hopefully it was uh, entertaining for you i know it wasn't quite a project video but sometimes people appreciate uh tutorials so hopefully it was good and hopefully you learned something if you have any comments about maybe better ways to do it put it down below always helps people i know i read through comments when i watch videos so yeah if you're not subscribed already maybe think about it nice community we're growing here and I will promise to upload more regularly, you know, at least more than once every like two and a half weeks. My goal is to do a video every week. I'm getting back into it again. Uh, I really do miss making videos, so hopefully I get a little bit more free time to do that. And I appreciate you watching, and I hope you keep your amps up and your filament dry. <laughs>